Today we're going to talk a brief introduction to devices and the file system in Linux administration. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. And before we begin today's video, I want to let you guys know that this video is proudly sponsored by my good friends over at Skillsoft. If you guys are interested in getting some IT training, I strongly suggest you guys check out these guys over at Skillsoft because they do a phenomenal job of what they do over there. There are a lot of people out there who are using Skillsoft who also have said amazing things about them. And that's why I talk about them. And I am telling you that they are great to use. And in today's video, I'm reviewing their introduction to devices and file systems, Linux administration course, which I think is pretty amazing. They have it over there on their Percipio platform. And if you guys are unfamiliar with their Percipio platform, they just recently introduced that about a year or so ago. And it is really amazing. They have really done some amazing work with that. And it is really intuitive and easy to use. And you can also use this on your mobile device, which is again, really easy and awesome to navigate, which makes it a lot more convenient for you guys to study and try to get some of this information nailed down in your head. So let's go over this course and talk about it. So if you guys are unaware, I've been spending about the last two years or so really trying to introduce myself to Linux. I started off with the basics. I've been trying to advance myself as much as I can. So going into this course, I really had the opportunity to learn a lot. And the instructor here is Dan, and he did a fantastic job of going over some of these different file systems, how they are used, and then how to configure some of these. So it was really nice to learn some of this stuff for me personally, and I think you guys can learn a lot from it as well. But let's go over here to the overview to see some of the things that you guys can learn by going over this course for you. So as you guys can see here under the overview and the objectives, it's configuring different partition tables, uh, how those dis disks are partitioned and what those disks are partitioned as. So it talks about the riser file system. It talks about B tree file systems. And then it also gets into um, configuring your Linux system to mount file systems on boot up. It talks about uh, configuring how to use mountable removable file systems and then applying disk quota to file systems. So it really kind of gets you into uh, exactly how you're configuring different disk drives um, different the different partitions, what you're going to do with them and configure them in different ways. I went over this course, it was about 52 minutes long, and I got a lot of knowledge out of it. I was really happy and satisfied with the amount of information that you actually got from this in 52 minutes. It really is a nice introduction to how devices and file systems work within the Linux operating system. Sometimes it's really confusing at first when you're going into Linux, especially if you're a Windows fanboy, kind of like I have been, but they really broke it down in a very simple way that you can understand. So if you guys are looking to learn more about Linux and you're looking to be a Linux administrator or just really become proficient in Linux, I highly recommend this course and I highly recommend Skillsoft to learn more about Linux administration because so far, they've done a fantastic job of really teaching me all the fundamentals that I need to know. And I think that you guys can really gain a lot of knowledge from that as well. One of my favorite things about this course is how they really break down the different commands that they are using and what they are doing. So you guys can actually follow along with what they're doing and you can get the same results, which is really nice because sometimes it's hard to follow along, but with what they're doing here and the way that they're describing how these commands are working, I think it's really easy to actually understand the the whole process and understand the different file systems and understand how you can partition different disks or, or even split up different disks. So if you guys are interested in this course, check out the link in the description below. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. As always, take it easy.